y'all today has been a long ass fucking day i traveled so much as you can probably see i'm sweaty disgusting tired as fuck i haven't slept in 24 hours but it's okay it's all worth it i'm here in the hotel um my my dress is literally like <laughs> sticking to me my braids are all fucked i didn't even really do like that much i guess i did a lot of walking and i did a lot of sitting which i'm really tired of doing my back fucking hurts i need some lumbar support it's not working out <laughs> but let me tell you a little bit about my day as i already like showed earlier my day started at like 3 a.m um from my hometown drove to an airport i had like an hour and a half flight to another airport to an international airport and then i waited there for three hours and then our flight was delayed by like 40 minutes because the plane had to be cleaned and then which is good and gassed up um and then the flight was 13 hours long which is exhausting in and of itself just sitting there really doing nothing luckily I had the whole road to myself it was just me at the window seat so like if I had to pee or anything or get up you know it wasn't really bothering anybody which is very nice so that was like pretty smooth really for me it's the anticipation and just like wanting to be there um, I can't believe I stayed up the whole day to be honest it's nighttime here in Japan and I am probably gonna I'm gonna try and adjust to theirs to this time zone but anyway, flight, got to the airport, fucking walking through the airport itself <laughs> took 40 minutes just walking, liter walking through the airport to get us to like go through the lines, which it's justifiable because it was efficient when I was in line um, and like having that long walking time I guess lets people go through the lines and then the line is just replenished at a nice normal rate it doesn't get too long it's not super fast which is unfortunate but it is what it is i made it through it's very smoothly um but i had to then exchange my currency from dollar to yen and then i had to um i ordered <laughs> i got a takuin service which is luggage delivery from basically wherever to wherever um, it's really fucking efficient and America can never. I do like our mail system, but this luggage delivery service is so useful and Japan is so small that like they can just like get it across like pretty much as soon as you need. Um, and it was only $19 for my big ass suitcase. Um, so I had to do that and then I had to find my way to... The train station, I had to go to Shinagawa, which is where the Shinkansen, the bullet train, takes off. And then I was on the Shinkansen for two and a half hours, almost three. Um, I only slept for like 45 minutes and it was very bad. It was on and off because one, I was nervous, two, uncomfortable as fuck, three, I just wanted to be at the hotel. So then when I got to the final station, I had to find the other train and then take it a few stops, which wasn't bad. It was only like five minutes. And then I had to walk here to the hotel, which is only like a block. So it really wasn't bad. I am starving and I don't think I'm going to go out to go get food. So that's fun. <laughs> I really shouldn't do that. You shouldn't do that either, but whatever. Um, it's a travel day. Shit happens like that. Um... And now I'm at the hotel, thank god. I am going to go take a shower. And I might have to say goodbye to the pits, y'all. It's so sad. I might have to. Well, I'll get the vibe in the next few days from the other students. Um, I wear long dresses so and skirts, so I don't really see a need to shave my legs. But like, if I want to wear tank tops, I'm probably going to have to shave. I'm already like a weirdo with the tattoos, so I have to. I have to like conform a little bit. It's very unfortunate, but we live in a society. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna show you guys the room 
a little bit and we have this entrance my shoes and the slippers so they have like a little gangcon area these are pretty comfy for hotel so we have the hallway which leads to a very nice little little thingy a little couch couch and then some pretty lights up here with the air con the air conditioner a nice blue wall and but um the bed and a little desk but this bed's pretty sick low-key I like the lights coming out of it <laughs> anyway the most important thing is yeah <sighs> free time and take shoes off like this Step up into it. Boom. I am so ready to get in this fucking tub. Look how deep they are. They're so good. Oh my god. They're serving. Oh my god, the bidet. Oh, my favorite Japanese household feature. Oh. Okay, okay. I did really want to film, like everything that I was doing today but I mean like I said before like my hands were fucking full I was busy I was tired and honestly I just didn't really have the capacity to do it I'm traveling alone I don't have extra hands it I was carrying my passport and like my all my important documents like the whole time I was like trying to lug two bags until I finally got one delivered but yeah so that's why but I and I didn't take many pictures either for the same reason but starting tomorrow i think that'll change a little bit even though like i'll have orientation and whatnot but i'm excited to finally start documenting and documenting my life as a study abroad student in japan a little quick thing that i was reminded of is this hotel for one night for me is less than 60 dollars um it's roxan which is like $54 or something like that um uh obviously way cheaper than like any hotel in the United States um I'm finally gonna go take my fucking shower and then I think I'm gonna change say my good night to y'all and then that concludes my first day in Japan yokata <laughs> Okay, there's one last thing I wanted to show you, which is the gown that the hotel provides. It is just a cute little, like, robe. It is very long. Goes all the way down. But it's very cute and comfy. It's pretty, like, thick. It's like a very nice material. I'm, I don't know what material it is, but it's very nice. Um, it's not like hot, but it's like, it's like, it makes you not cold, so that's good. <laughs> and I just thought it was really cute, it has, it's buttoned down all the way, and I love it. Good morning, friends. It is 5.14 a.m., and I just went to 7-Eleven, um, to get myself food, because I am literally gonna eat my own arm. I got myself a Shichiria Lemon, Sicilian lemon drink. Um, I'm gonna try that. I'm excited. And I got onigiri, rice balls. I got tuna mayo, so tuna mayonnaise. And I got yakisake, which is salmon flakes so I'm gonna try these um, I've had these before a long time ago but I'm fucking hungry so I'm sure they'll taste good all right I'm trying the lemon drink first it's good it's a lemony drink it's very refreshing it's a skiri fresh <laughs> So, very refreshing. Which it is. They did not lie. It was very good. I like that. 
I saw a Fanta Lemon, Lemon Fanta in um, the vending machine. I really wanted it. Well, I fucked that up a little bit, but I got it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Alright, itadakimasu. now trying the tuna mayo excuse me um i'm very excited the salmon flakes was very good and that's when i managed to pull off the wrapping without any trouble Perfect, perfect amount. I know it's only five dollars for everything. Bye. Good evening. Um, I have just completed my second day in Japan. First full day in Japan. And orientation starts tomorrow, which I am excited about. Um, to you know, learn more and really get prepared for the academic side of things um but I do want to recall my day um one so I have it for my own memory keepsake and also because I want to share it and you know that's why you're watching I hope <laughs> um so day two was very fun um I woke up at 3 a.m <laughs> after only getting like five hours of sleep a little less um, couldn't fall back asleep because it was like noon noon in my regular time zone and my body believed that I was still there. So I waited until 5 to go, excuse me, across the street to the 7-Eleven, um, which I have the footage of me eating the onigiri and that was delicious, as good as I remember. Um, and then I came back and rested in bed for a couple hours until breakfast at the hotel opened. And me being me, I love free food. So I went downstairs, met up with some other students, um, in the program, which was really nice getting to meet them. Um, we had breakfast together and then we went on a walk around Kyoto. It was so fun. Um, we visited shops i got some necessary items um not anything like fun or cool yet because i have not i'm not in my apartment yet and i don't want to buy anything unnecessary or like extraneous until after i am settled and i will be able to buy another suitcase um but anyway i yeah i had so much fun getting to know the other people and um, yeah, it was really cool. Um, I feel like I am very prepared now for this program, like, language-wise. Um, not that I'm, like, that good, but I feel like I'm surrounded by people who are there to, like, help me get better. Um, so, I feel really good about that. And then... You know, we so that was like two, three hours almost um, when we came back to the hotel, and I, I literally kind of just like did nothing. <laughs> well, I actually had to did some videos, but I was fighting the jet lag and the drowsiness so fucking hard. Um, like I was literally falling asleep, sitting up straight. <laughs> on my computer trying to do a task um so clearly uh I'm exhausted still I'm running on the five hours of sleep still I haven't slept it's 9 30 p.m right now and 
I will probably be going to bed immediately after this, but I just wanted to talk about my day, like I said. Um, so, anyway, me and some other students gathered up f uh, for dinner, and we had cut it. So we had curry. It was very good, very delicious. It's one of my favorite foods ever, especially Japanese curry. It's so good. Um, but then... Yeah, and we stayed there for like two hours talking, having fun. There were some new faces that, you know, just got here. So it was nice getting to know them. And then we walked back in the rain and um, I chilled out for like 30 minutes before I went and met the director of our program, which was very nice. She's a very nice lady. And then... I came up here and I took a very nice hot bath, it goes up to my thigh, like the, the tub goes up to my thigh, um, sat there for a while and just thought, contemplating, <laughs> um, pondering, um, but yeah, and now I am here recounting my story and recounting my day and feeling very tired um it is what time is it it is 7 30 a.m in my hometown so my body thinks that i should be waking up right now which is probably why i will have a hard time falling asleep again but i'm hoping that it's not that hard and i hope that i can sleep longer than last night if I could sleep until 5, that would be great, but I think I'm going to wake up at 4 or before 4 again, so we'll see what happens, but I'll let you know tomorrow, and that's when orientation will begin, so I'm not sure how much I'll be able to, like, do or record, but I hope that you have a wonderful night, day, afternoon, whatever it may be. Uh, I just completed the full second day of being in Japan. Um, today was the first day of orientation and it was very, very, very busy. Um, if you can't tell, I am very exhausted and I am ready to sleep. <laughs> Because last night, I still only got like 5 hours of sleep. I woke up before 4 a.m. And couldn't fall back asleep. So, yeah, I'm exhausted. It was 93 degrees Fahrenheit today with extreme, extreme humidity. Um, that's Japan for you in the summer and typhoon season. So, that was fun. Um... But I just want to recap my day. Um, so, like I said, orientation started today. Um, the first like half of the day, half of the day went by so quickly, um, which was very nice. But then afterwards, we had to um, go register at the ward office. Um, we had local students come to help us um, with that process. Thankfully, because it is complicated. It is busy. It's like the it's like the equivalent of the DMV, because the word office is where you go for like everything. Um, when you move, um, taking care of like your name, your family stuff, all gets done there. I'm like ninety nine percent sure. Um, so that was very interesting. It took like almost two hours, I think, to get done. Um, and after that, um, we had to go get commuting passes um, for the for the month. And then after that, the Japanese students took us, me and this other girl, um, to. It was just the two of us because you have to register by ward based on like where you're staying in Japan. So it was us two at that ward office. We had two students helping us um, take care of it. But um, afterwards, they took us to this matcha place in Kyoto Eki. It was kind of a long walk, but it was 
very nice and very delicious um i had like a really big like this big of a matcha ice cream thing um it had like a vanilla ice cream at the bottom with like a matcha jelly and then it had like a matcha ice cream um and castella cake matcha castella cake and then like a matcha whipped cream on top it was fucking good um <laughs> so we did that and then i took the train back to the hotel and i went and got dinner with the girl who was with me and some other students and then we went and got moss burger which is like the japanese burger chain it's so good i had a teriyaki burger and now i am back and that concludes my third day my second full day um i took a shower already i'm representing bucky's today because i am a beaver believer believe it or not um but anyway that was my day and i I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow. We have an oral interview for Japanese placement. Um, I think today I gained some confidence in my in my abilities, so I'm hoping that it goes well. I'm really not sure what to expect out of this oral interview, but I think it'll be fine. I I feel very prepared for it. Um, again thanks to my school but yeah um i'll let you know how it goes good morning friends it is sunday the day before school starts and i am spending every last moment that i can while i have free time to go explore so today i am heading to kiyomizudera temple um with a couple of friends i think it might be just one other um but i'm excited to show that around i went out again last night um it was super fun um i didn't get super fucked up like before thank god because i was out of commission for like a whole fucking day <laughs> so um yeah i'm just getting ready and then heading out conclude my first full week in Japan um, it was so much fun so tiring of course my body is still getting used to the time difference and the different level of activity here that just naturally happens um, 
which is good, a good thing, obviously. <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, I've been making friends and um, you know, I had one day at school so far and it was good. Uh, basically orientation, figuring out what afternoon classes I'll be taking because I have Japanese every single morning um, for two hours. But overall, it's just been a great time. The food is delicious. The weather has been really hot, um, really humid, typhoon. Um, but of course, you get beautiful, clear skies every now and then, like now. Um, yeah, and I'm sure I'm going to have lots of ups, lots of downs. But me personally, I feel I'll have more ups than downs because I've had the opportunity to have a study abroad experience before and really, you know, I feel can navigate culture shock and um, stuff like that. Um, emotional intelligence is really important and I feel that last time I was really able to um, mature that and this time um, I feel a lot more prepared. I feel um, a lot more confident in my abilities um, and overall it's just been so great and I hope to see you follow along for the coming week.